The following segment is a non-profit, fan-based parody. Final Fantasy XV and all of its characters are owned by Square Enix, Hajima Tabata, and all of their affiliates. Thank you for watching, and please support the official release. Thanksgiving may just in fact be my favorite. A time to come together with family and friends and take a day off from your jobs and duties to truly appreciate everything in life. And what better way to bond with family than with a magnificent feast? Now even though the food isn't what is truly important about Thanksgiving, it plays an extremely key role in the holiday. Everything can go horribly wrong if the meal does not satisfy the rapid increase of a human's high expectations. That is why I'm here to help you preparing your dishes that will put all others to shame. And of course, you may follow along with your special edition Ignis Recipe Encyclopedia. Come up with new recipes with your very own special issue Ignis's Recipe Encyclopedia. With this catalog of culinary cuisines in your inventory, you'll be the envy of every eatery event you attend. Order yours today by calling 1-500-THAT'S-IT. Supplies are limited, so order before it's too late. That's it. What's up, Ignis? I see. My sincerest apologies, viewers, but as it so happens during that very commercial, all of our available recipe encyclopedias were sold. If you did not get the opportunity to obtain one of your own, fear not! Our new issue should be ready for release by Christmas. And now with that out of the way, we move on to the matter at hand. Appetizers. Now when I think of appetizers, I think finger foods. Simple, small, savory. Take a look at the various ingredients I have here. Now, for you true culinary experts, I'll give you a moment to put the pieces of this provisions puzzle together. All right, if you have come up with an appetizer after a quick glance of these ingredients, you are doing exceptional in your efforts to master recipe brainstorming. For those of you who didn't think of anything, I will gladly tell you. We will be using the meat to make giant toad shish kebab with a side of sweet peanut sauce. Now for those of you who have prepared or tried to prepare giant toad before, you'll know that it's a lot harder to cook the larger the portion size. However, as an appetizer on skewers, you'll find that it is rather simple. So simple, in fact, that all we need to do is place our toad in the microwave and cook on high for five minutes. Preparing the peanut sauce will be a tad trickier where you want to take your peanuts and make them into a sauce. You want to take your tool and start smashing the peanuts into a smaller and smaller chunks until they're a fine powder. As for transitioning from powder to sauce, we merely add heat. And the best way, of course, is to use an elemental spell. Once it is a liquid, the peanut sauce is no longer flammable and the fire will soon fizzle out. And by the time this process has transpired, your giant toad meat should be ready. <sighs> and now we move on to the main course. And for that, I will need an assistant. Ah, oh, pronto! Charming as always. <laughs> Uh, so, you know, the best thing about Thanksgiving is getting to eat something dead. Yes, yes, quite, quite. So in there we have our centerpiece, the most magnificent bird, the turkey. So how are we going to be cooking this thing? Well, it's a little bit too original for my taste. So we're going to be using something different, something unique. And for that, griffin breast meatballs and garlic marinara. Garlic marinara? Oh man, that smells delicious. How do you make a dish like this? Yes, yes. In, in order to find that out, you'll have to purchase the episode Ignis DLC. And now comes my favorite part of the meal. The dessert. 
Uh, yeah, and uh, what better way for Thanksgiving dessert than a traditional pumpkin pie? Oh, yes, the traditional pumpkin pie. Too traditional for my taste. Someone's bound to bring a pumpkin pie to the table. Why don't we try something like good old-fashioned cranberry streusel? Uh, yeah, I, I guess. It's not too far-fetched. Looks good enough, but, uh, why don't we try something that, that everyone will like? That's it! Uh, what's what? I've come up with a new recipe. Cookies! Vegans are better than most people. Pronto, do you have those vegan ingredients? Uh, no, I don't have the vegan ingredients, but I do have the script, and this isn't on the script. Some of history's best quotations were unscripted. Besides, this is all black and white. You need some more coffee. That's it! I've come up with a new recipe. No, nope, I've seen enough. What? Pronto! It's delicious and moist, and not at all a lie, I promise. No, we're done. Come up with a new recipe.